And in this video I want to show something about chapter 5 of this book so a short presentation on chapter 5 of this book on von Mises stress so von Mises stress is always the first thing you see when you start SOLIDWORKS and create a stress plot I'm gonna give a short explanation of the von Mises stress and I'm gonna demonstrate it in SOLIDWORKS simulation so this is a, a plot of the von Mises stress that you usually see that if you get outside of this area with one or uh, two principal stresses so here's the first principal stress as discussed in the previous chapter chapter 4 of this book so here's the first principal stress here's the second one and if you get outside of this safe area then uh, a part will fail so it will start yielding this is what you usually see a two-dimensional view whereas here I've got a, a three-dimensional view of the same situation so the von Mises stress is actually a cylinder that runs through the line where uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 and sigma 3 are equal so this this goes along with the fact that a uniform pressure in a part can be as big as you want to so if you throw a block into the ocean a block of metal it won't fail even though the pressure can get very high the, the deeper you drop a block into the ocean the higher the pressure will be and uh, it can easily get to for example uh, 500 newton per square millimeter which is higher than the the yield stress of most metals but still it won't fail because the stress is uniform and that's what you see over here in this cylinder of the the von Mises stress so what you what you see is an ellipse it's just a cross section of this cylinder as you can see again here in uh, in this image so if I then switch to SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS simulation I, I can create a new study and I can get the definition of the von Mises stress so the the, uh, the equation behind it it's it's over here this one is it's a definition depending on principal stresses so principal stresses as discussed in the previous chapter and what you can see over here is that uh, the von Mises stress gets bigger when two principal stresses are differing more so if sigma 2 is negative and sigma 1 is highly positive this value gets high uh, and the von Mises stress gets high and that's based on experiments that show that differences in uh, principal stresses lead to high shear stresses which then again lead to failure of a metal so you can see it here in the formula and what you can also see if you have only one uh, principal stress for example sigma 1 and leave the other two principal stresses on zero then the von Mises stress should be equal to sigma 1 itself so we can easily test that in SOLIDWORKS create a new study and apply a fixture over here and then a force over here on this side of a thousand newton for example I can then run the study and out of a Mises stress that I always get as a first stress uh, is roughly 2, I can probe it again probe here so I can see it's 1.88 the von Mises stress which should be similar to uh, for example the stress in the first principal stress direction so I'll take the first principal stress and you see a different color but don't you let yourself be fooled by the colors it's just because of a different scale because here in this section the, the von Mises stress has another value a higher value than in this plot and that's why the scale here is different whereas the value over here which I can still probe will be the same so it's a different color of course but exactly the same value for this principal stress compared to the von Mises stress and in this case it will then also be equal to the stress in the x direction so here you can see my coordinate system I can define a, an x direction plot and because the stresses in z and y direction are zero the von Mises stress should in this case be exactly the same as the stress in x direction again a little bit of a different color because of the situation what happens here due to the Poisson's effect which is discussed in chapter 2 of this book 
And I can probe it and I'll get exactly the same value again 1.88 newton per square millimeter. So that's uh, a short discussion of the von Mises stress. Thanks for watching.